I've been working with Unreal these last few weeks, learning how to develop shaders with the Unreal Development Kit's Material Editor. And I ended up making a material that reproduces the reflective properties of highway signing. So I thought maybe I'd just take a little time and uh, show how that ended up working out. Uh, but before I get into it, just so you know where I'm coming from, when I talk about uh, highway signing and what makes it reflective, what I'm really talking about is retro reflectivity. And all retro reflectivity is, is the ability of a surface to reflect light back in the direction from which it came. Uh, and because retro reflectivity is very directional in nature, it's also very efficient. Uh, so for example, when you're driving down the road at night and your headlights hit a retro reflective sign in the distance, 40 to 60 percent of the light that hits the surface of that sign is reflected back at you, or more exactly, back at your headlights. But because your eyes are always pretty much in line with your car's headlights, you you always get that benefit of that retroreflective effect. Uh, to demonstrate what I'm talking about, take a look at the wall in front of me. I have two signs. The one on the left is retroreflective. The one on the right is not. Behind me on the wall, you see there are two spotlights, one shining on each sign. From where I'm standing on the right, there doesn't appear to be any real difference between these two signs. But if I step to the left, that retroreflective sign really lights up. It kind of behaves like you'd expect if your headlights hit it some night out on the road. But of course, the reason that it does that is because I'm standing directly in front of the light that's shining on it. If I move even a little bit out of that light's line of sight, we'll lose that effect entirely. And that's just basically how retroreflectivity performs, and that's what this material is really all about. So anyway, as I was reviewing, or as I was uh, uh, working on this material, I went to uh, the 3M website to do a little research. Uh, 3M manufactures diamond-grade retroreflective sheeting. Uh, it's a really high-quality industry standard in, in terms of reflective sheeting for signs. And uh, as I downloaded the material to study the specifications, I came across a couple pictures that really captured the two things that control retroreflectivity. Uh, and it's all about two angles, the observation angle and the entrance angle. The observation angle is simply the angle between your eye and your car's headlights with respect to the sign that your headlights are shining on. Uh, the size of the angle depends on how far you are from the sign. The closer you get, the bigger that angle becomes. The reflective effect of the sign depends on the size of the angle. The bigger the angle gets, the dimmer or darker the sign becomes. Now this is important to understand because when you're driving down the road at night, if your headlights pick up a sign say 500 feet in the distance, you want that sign to be really bright. You want to get the full effect of its retro reflectivity. You want to know there's something there with an important message that you need to pay attention to. But the closer and closer you get, the less bright that sign needs to be. So that observation angle is there to kind of control that retro reflectivity so that the sign isn't nearly as bright as you get closer and closer to it. The other angle is the entrance angle. And this angle is simply the angle at which your headlights strike the surface of the sign. And the reason this angle is here is because it's really not important to be lighting up signs that aren't facing you. So what that entrance angle does is it basically filters out signs that aren't really facing the driver to prevent any uh, confusing or, or, or problematic messages. I have a few signs set up in sort of an arc fashion and uh, a light on the wall that's shining on them. Uh, the five signs are all rotated just a little bit. The first sign on the far left is facing the spotlight directly. The second sign is rotated 15 degrees, the third at 30, the fourth at 45, and the fifth sign is rotated at 60 degrees. Now if I back up against the wall and step to the left here in line with my uh, light source we get that retroflective effect going you'll see that the 0, the 15, and the 30 degree signs really light up. Uh, when you get to the 45 degree sign, the effect really starts to fall off, and by the time you get to 60 degrees, there's really no visible re retroreflectivity going on at all. That's that entrance angle kicking in and doing its job, because by the time you get to 60 degrees, that sign really isn't facing the driver, and it wouldn't really be very appropriate to have it lit. The other angle, the observation angle, I've actually demonstrated several times already. As I step right and left, in and out of the line of sight of the light source, we see that retroflective effect come and go. Uh, but the other way we can demonstrate that is by getting real close to the sign. You remember I said that the closer you get, the darker the sign should be. So if we come all the way up here, get real close, we see all of a sudden that retroflective effect is completely gone. 
Now that we're really close to the surface of the sign, there's one more thing I'd like to point out. If you take a close look at the surface, you'll see a diamond-shaped mesh covering the surface of these signs. Uh, that's because I modeled this material after uh, 3M's diamond grade sheeting. And the diamond pattern is, is characteristic of 3M's product. Other manufacturers might use a hexagon or an octagon pattern. But in the end, it's not really important. What's important is, is that each shape in that mesh encapsulates a cell of reflective prisms. And it's those prisms that create that retroreflective effect. The other thing to observe is that there's light and dark banding across the surface of the sign. And that banding is there because prismatic sheeting, like diamond grade, has a bias. In other words, it shines best when it's oriented in one particular direction. So that banding helps the uh, people who make these signs and put them out on the roads to determine which way to orient that sheeting so it performs at its best.